Welcome to Das Geek. Today we are going to explore the Opera Woo! browser. The Opera browser has been very popular for a long time and then it kind of fell off the planet. And everyone has gone to Chrome and Mozilla, Mozilla being a personal favorite of mine. I had used Opera before in a mobile setting. I believe it was one of the first or only additional browsers that you're able to install on Apple for a while. Um, and I think that's how I ended up finding it. But this was way, 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 way back when. And one of the things I remember about Opera is the gesturing. So you could set up gestures like make a G and automatically go to Google News or something like that on your screen. So as soon as you opened it, you could gesture or have it do any type of things that you wanted by swiping and making gestures. It was pretty popular. A lot of people were trying it out. Uh, I don't know the full market share that it ended up getting, but it was popular enough that your average geek knew about it. Then they waned off, as I mentioned, but they're back in the news with a really compelling offer right now. You have to download the developer edition. So if you just go to opera.com and you download the standard browser right now, you're not going to have this option. But if you download the developer uh, version of Opera, which is free, it comes with a free VPN service. So VPNs help keep your traffic safe. It anonymizes your traffic so that it's basically going through different hot points and masking your IP address and things like that. So a lot of folks like to use VPNs, even if they're not doing illegal activities, uh, because they don't want everybody tracking every site that they visit. So here is a view of Opera, the developer edition. I gotta say, Opera is looking gorgeous. I mean, it's, uh, I really like the background. I like the clean cut look. Let's just look through some of our options. Speed dial, I believe, sets up uh, this for you know being able to get to your core websites quickly. And these definitely got to go because uh, don't do Facebook. And that meta grabbing piece of crap. All right, bookmarks we've got here. So you've got your bookmarks, you've got tabs, uh, speed dial tabs, and things you can set up. History and extensions. I like extensions. So that's no extensions installed. Browse the gallery. Why, yes, I would. So here's a just a quick sample of some of their extensions you can install. Add blockers, all of that type of stuff. I believe Opera was one of the first ones to come, one of the first browsers to come with uh, AdBlock built in, which is why they were very popular. But, of course, now it's available for everybody. So they've got your important add-ons. Now we need to get into settings. It looks like you can synchronize, so that's an important step forward, uh, ensuring that you can go to any computer or phone that you use and be able to get to your favorites. I use that feature a lot, so it's very important. So you can create an account and sign in. Let's figure out, okay, customize your home page. So we got some theme action here. We got something space related or geeky. This kind of looks geeky. I don't know what it is, but we're going to download it and install it. Because who wants to look at a bunch of beautiful pictures of mountains? I mean, you can have Caillou Ren here. All right, that's pretty cool. I like the motion that's in there, too. Just the right amount. That's beautiful. Very well done there. Uh, okay, so topics for your start page and all of that. How do we edit the settings? I want to add the VPN. I want to custom. Oh, go to browser settings down there. How silly of me. Okay, where would a VPN be? I am guessing privacy and security. And look at this. Hide your browsing activities from other users of your local network. Bypass firewalls and access blocked content. So that's another reason folks use VPNs is if content is not available, say if you're in Canada and you're wanting to watch a show in the U.S. or Europe or whatnot, you can set up a VPN. It makes it look like you're in the U.S. and gets around that. Some companies are doing workarounds to even keep that from working correctly, but in theory, that's how it works. Um, some of those companies, namely Netflix, hide your IP address from websites and block many tracking cookies and enhance privacy online, like when you have Facebook or any of these companies that track everything you do even after you close it. That's right, they track stuff even after you close it, what sites you're visiting, where you're going, all of that. 
So that's why VPNs are so important. So I'm going to enable VPN here. All right. We've done it. Now let's see if it gives my IP address. Do I need to restart? One does wonder. Okay. That's my public IP. Let's see if this site knows where I'm at. Sure is a slow VPN at the moment. What is my IP address is like? What's going on here? This guy's coming from everywhere. Hmm. So it says I'm in Utah. So the VPN is certainly working because I am not in Utah. Um, I wonder if you are able to select where you want it to show you from in the settings anywhere. So that's very, very cool. Let's see, it says VPN, unprotected connection, no previous fiction. This connection is not encrypted. Okay. VPN on, okay, so up here when I clicked on VPN, you can see the data transfers and I can do a different location. So I can now show them from Germany and it's restarted itself automatically and it's going back to the site and now says I'm in Tampa Florida uh, that's funny Opera has crashed this is a developers version so if you're upset about crashing or anything like that don't download it but if you're a geek you're gonna love this stuff I love playing with things when they're brand new the VPN built in for free it's huge absolutely huge and I wonder if they're gonna get folks into the idea of VPN so they understand it and then maybe sell them on a mobile version or monthly plan because you want Opera to make some money here, right? Let's just go back to Google. Let's see how fast that is. This what is my IP is just hanging my computer up. Doesn't know what to do. All right. Can we just go to Google? Very, very slow right now. Not liking that, but again, we are trying to route our traffic through Germany. Oh, no, it still says United States. Let's try Germany now. All right. Look at that. It actually worked because you can see Google is now in German, which is very cool. Um, so I'm going to switch that back to U.S. here. Let's see what it does. Okay, so we're back. We got English again. And let's just do a speed test. You're not really supposed to do speed tests and stuff on VPNs because you're really bogging down the you're bogging down the hot points, but we're testing for a video, so we got to break some rules. So we're going to try the beta in HTML5. Let's see if it allows us to do a speed test. It seems very very slow, to be honest. Um Pia VPN is the one that I use currently. Uh, they have very fast servers, and a lot of cases you really don't even know that uh, you're using a VPN. They're so fast, but this this seems pretty slow. Just being honest here. So okay. So for the VPN settings, there's not a lot you can do to set it up because I'd like to find maybe a closer US state or something so it's not as crazy block ads and surf the web up to three times faster okay done let's see if we're three times faster now not that bad let's go to uh, one of my favorite sites in the world lifehacker let's go here So it's, it's a little slow. This is a 100 megabyte per second connection. So, you know, it's not it's not a slow connection by any means. And you can see there's some hesitation, but it's perfectly acceptable for browsing your normal websites and things along those lines. Uh, I'm not sure you could really stream any movies or anything from it, but this would be great. Um, this would be great. 
for anybody who doesn't want to spend the monthly fee, has never had a VPN, wants to try them out. I'm really excited about this. Please keep in mind this is developer version. So even though I'm talking about it being slow and things, that is not a knock against Opera here. I'm sure they have a lot of things that they're still working out. Uh, they're going to probably be dealing with a lot of traffic and a lot of people downloading this. It has hit the major news outlets. With everything going on with privacy, this is a big deal. So uh, give them some patience. Uh, let them work out the bugs. I'm really proud of Opera for coming back. Their, their interface, by the way, is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm pretty blown away by how beautiful their interface is. I think it looks better than Mozilla or Chrome for sure. Um, so the VPN service making it that much more. So I'm going to use this for the next couple of weeks, and I will provide you an update if you're interested in how I like it. Uh, or even better, just go download it yourself. You've got Opera Developer. I'll have the link down below. Go check it out. Definitely want to support these guys for trying to do something innovative and new and offering this for free. Leave your comments below. Hit subscribe. It's just a click of a button, and it really helps me out. I appreciate all of the fan love that I've gotten recently. We are only a month old channel, so we are growing fast, and it's because of you. I am going to go and play and browse and enjoy the freedom of not being tracked on the internet. I hope you do too. I will talk to you later.